We're at Westwood Stockade, and today we're here with the North American Fence Contractors Association at Arlington National Cemetery. We're doing a work project, putting in about 240 feet of chain link fence, and today we're going to be using the Stockade Ring Fast Pneumatic Ringing Tool. Uh, it is air powered, it's very lightweight. Uh, we're going to be using a battery powered compressor, so we don't need any electricity okay. on site. Uh, it takes a 15 gauge high tensile zinc aluminum ring. Uh, the 15 gauge high tensile rings will actually outpull the 9 gauge aluminums that are so popular. They're collated so you don't have to untangle them. The tool is extremely fast. Uh, it saves a lot of fatigue and a lot of time when ringing. Everybody hates ringing. And uh, they're zinc aluminum coated so you certainly don't have to worry about any corrosion issues. We're going to have a little bit of footage on the tool being used on fence here in just a few moments. And thank you all very much. Ryan, can you show us how you load it? Certainly. Take your collation of rings, slide them on the magazine, and there's a tab right there that keeps them from sliding backwards. Put them all the way around to the head, pull the follower back, get them behind the rings, and that'll apply pressure to keep them moving through the nose. Beautiful. Any chances of jamming, and how would you fix that? On a rare occasion, and I've never had it happen with this tool, but you can just take a pair of pliers and yank an errant ring out of out from between the teeth. Beautiful. And how many do you think you can get on? I guess it really depends on the not much gas you have, much air you have traveling through it, right? That's it. Uh, you know, we're going to use this little battery unit today. Uh, I've not ran it yet. Uh, I've had some other guys use some battery units. Theirs are a little bit bigger because they're full-time contractors. I've got a little Ryobi compressor. Uh, Milwaukee makes one that's bigger. I think DeWalt has one that's bigger. Uh, obviously, on the job, the, you know, the more capacity and the more battery power you have, the better off you are. But there's also weight because you're going to be moving down the fence line as you go. So of just a couple considerations. But as far as pressure, is it 60 pounds, a 90 pound pressure on the compressor? Uh, about 80, 90 is ideal okay. with this tool. You really don't want to go above that. I've had yeah. guys run some, you know, really high pressures on staplers and then hook this tool up and it, it really doesn't like high pressure. You want to be sweet spots around 80, 90 pounds for this tool. Okay. Nice. Okay. So the idea is you put it around the section you want. You can. Uh, kind of have to pick your spot. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you.